it then I'll huff. And I'll puff. And I'll blow your house in. Here's Johnny. Morning. And welcome to Gardening 365. 83. And when the weather's fine, get yourself outside. And the reason why, next week, and you've got jobs to do, and it's raining, you're going to regret it. Okay, so I'm outside doing a job that's hopefully going to give us great fruit this year. So what have I spent the last 30-40 minutes doing? I'll show you. Preparing this. And what is this? Well again, I'll show you. And the cost of this was zero. It didn't cost anything. And the carbon footprint of it was absolutely zero as well. This is wood chip that was made from branches and brash cut down in this garden. Kept it for a couple of years. And this is what it's broken down into. And this is perfect now for your fruit trees. These are the raspberries that I cut down an episode or two ago. And now I'm going to use some of that wood chip mulch that's broken down for a two year period in these. All done now. It looks great. And I know we're going to get great raspberries. Winner, winner. And it's cost absolutely zero with zero carbon footprint and next for the mulch is my red and black currants now these did really well last year and if you look very carefully they're starting to sprout so that means spring is here whoopee and again the black and red currants look great with the mulch on hello little robin how you doing come to help me you're always welcome in an our garden Absolutely lovely. One of my very favourite birds. And he's that friendly, he's come that close to me. Second barrow full done now. And I think it's even better than the first. It is superb. Looks and feels almost like soil. Wood chip. Two years down the line. And the robin's back again. been with me all day and the Acer has also benefited from some well rotted wood chip and not so long ago I said about how much the crocuses had been damaged by the storms and the wind and the poor old crocuses look decimated by the weather and the crocuses are looking absolutely lovely at the minute which is great crocuses and snowdrops Lovely. And the same treatment for the apple tree and the cherry tree. And my little friend's back out with me again today. It's just lovely. spend most of the day with me again. So what am I up to this morning? I'm just taking some of my horse muck from last year and making some compost for the garden. But the area where I'm doing it is full of crab apples from last year. So I'm just picking them up. And what am I doing with the crab apples? Compost, of course. My 
my strawberries are an absolute mess. So I'm just tidying up a little bit and then I'm gonna thin them out. And I've just taken some of the top growth off. Nothing more than that. And now what I'm gonna do is start lifting a few of the strawberries and just building up the soil again. All cleared. And now I'm gonna put some of the compost that I made so I'll get a bit more soil depth. And I've done the first few now, and they're looking good. I'm not going to finish these today. I really aren't going to finish, it's just too much to do. And there's my half a strawberry bed. And the reason why I say half, I've got to do the other half as well at some point. Hopefully next weekend, if I get a chance. And that leaves me some excess compost. I wonder what I'm going to do with that. and meet the newest arrival at Cherry Tree. It's a red grapevine. And I'm looking forward to seeing this grow and progress. But I'm a bit short on soil there, so I'll use this compost to fill it in. Well, that concludes this episode of Gardening 365, Gardening 365 83. Join us next time for Gardening 36584. Please, please subscribe because I know lots of our viewers are not subscribed yet and it would be great and it will help us grow our channel. So please subscribe by hitting the button in one of the corners and like the video as well. It would be absolutely amazing if you could do that for me. And one last thing, see you next time. Bye.